boat on this place and he's a fisherman and these are the nets that they have and every now and then they have to rebuild them because the salt water kind of takes its toll on it and also they're kind of modifying these they're putting a little bit bigger hole for the fish to go in so he gets a little bit larger fish and this is the bamboo he uses he's cutting it up into little strips so that it makes the corners that support the net. This is his son pulling the old one out, the old bamboo. You can see him getting that out, out of there. And what they do the, to attract the fish, they take the, the, the scallops, and on the inside of the scallop, see that one's even broken there, so they gotta really replace that one. But the bait that they use to attract the fish, they take, um, you know, in the scallop shell, you have the little round core of meat that's so delicious or at least I think so but also around it they have you know the all the body of you know, the scallop all the organs well when they clean them they uh, you know remove all the body and organs just kind of like when we you know clean fish we take the stomach and the insides and stuff out and basically throw it away well what he does he takes he saves that uh, inside and he sticks it in that little piece of net right there sticks it in between here and here and puts that stick over it to hold the little piece of scallop um, guts inside there and that attracts the fish and they go in the net to try to eat that and then they can't get get out and voila he's got fish so that's uh that's how real filipinos do the fishing here and uh, he does really good every day he brings in uh, oh, a, crab, honey. a really nice catch <laughs> yeah where'd the crab come from there's a little crab that maybe came out of one of the the uh nets that was stuck in there but he's a dead crab so he's not no good so anyway we'll uh continue on doing other video but for now i just want to show you how they uh do their fish traps and make them and attract the fish and uh, make a living here in the Philippines. So that's it for now. Bye. All right, here we are, and uh, this is the Dodong the fishing man. He's, uh, he's building uh, fish traps, and uh, he's got the he had the sides built. Very good them. Now he's going to uh, sew the net onto the top. He's already got it wrapped over, over around the side. This is the, the side here. And he's putting it on the top there. He's building 120 more of these nets to uh, catch more fish. And, uh, he starts by uh, cutting all the bamboo. As you can see over here cuts it and stacks it all up. These are all the sides and stuff. So he's got it all stacked up and pre-cut. And it's kind of like a manufacturing process. And then, and then he assembles it. Here's some of the sort of finished product. These are the ones with the sides on them. And no top or bottom. And that is the bamboo over there for the, the that's where it is before. This is the next step. And then the third step is, the third step is, uh, this is what it looks like here when it's almost finished. The only thing it does, it doesn't have is, I don't know if you can notice, but there's an opening here, right here. This is an opening. He has to put like a little funnel shaped uh, fish uh, net in there to, uh, so the fish can go in and uh, not escape back out. And he uses smaller uh, traps like this because he's in the dried fish bi business. And when you dry fish, you dry smaller fish, not big fish. So he, uh, this is his kind of a sweet spot in the fishing industry where uh, he gets, uh, goes after the dried fish business. He can make more money catching fish and drying it and selling the dried fish than he can catching fish and just selling any fish that he catches to the market. So uh, he's kind of got his niche here going. And uh, that is one of the stories of Dodong the Fisherman. <laughs>